Right, we're now going to move on to an anatomy question, okay? Can you tell me the indications and contraindications to performing a caudal block in a child? Okay, so um, caudal epidural is a regional anaesthetic technique um, used to provide post-operative analgesia, um, most often in children and often in the day surgery um, setting. Um, the common indications are um, for surgery below the umbilicus, most commonly um, circumcision surgery, orchidopexy um, and hernia surgery. There are however some important contraindications um, which include um, parent refusal, um, anatomical um, abnormalities or suspicion of anatomical abnormality such as occult spinal bifida, um, coagulopathy or local infection. Good, okay. Um, since you mentioned the anatomy and this is an anatomy viva, um, can you describe the anatomy of the sacral canal? Um, so the sacral canal is a continuation of the lumbar epidural space. Can I draw you a picture? Yes, that would be great, thanks. Um, so essentially, uh, this is based on an equilateral triangle. So you have the two posterior superior iliac spines, and then they form an equilateral triangle with the sacrococcygeal membrane, either side of which are the two sacral um, cornu, and below is the coccyx. The sacrococcygeal membrane is um, a ligament which is in continuation with the ligamentum flavum. Um, anterior to the um, coccygeal to the um, sacral epidural space is um, sacral vertebral bodies. Um, and within the epidural space, you would find the five sacral nerves, um, a coccygeal nerve, epidural veins, and fat. Good. And what are the nerves collect collectively known as? Um, the caudal equina. Good. Okay. Now, can you tell me how you would perform a caudal block? So firstly, I would um, make sure that I had informed consent um, from the patient or in this case from the parents. Um, obviously, I would make sure I was in a safe environment with good IV access. Um, the patient would be in the left lateral position with the knees well flexed um, to optimise the position. I would use a fully aseptic approach. Is the patient going to be asleep or awake while you do this? Um, in a child, this will be performed under anaesthesia. Um, I will first of all um, prepare the skin and then identify my landmarks as I've um, identified here and then I would feel for the two sacral cornu and feel the membrane between them. I would use a 22 gauge cannula. Um, I would insert the needle until I felt a pop of the sacral coccygeal membrane and then I would remove the needle and uh, thread the cannula. I would then um, leave the cannula open to air for at least three minutes to um, exclude intravascular or um, place, intravascular placement or placement in the um, cerebrospinal fluid. Um, where does the dura end in a child? I forgot to say that. Where does the dura end in a child? Um, so the dura, dural sac ends very low in children, um, usually at S1 or S2. Okay. So what influences your choice of solution that you're going to use? Um, um, local anaesthetic that you use depends on the procedure and usually for post-op analgesia which uh, in the day surgery setting you would choose um, a 0.25% bupivacaine or levobupivacaine. Um, what sort of volume would you use? Say it's an orchidopexy. Uh, so for orchidopexy you'd ideally want a block level to the level of the umbilicus around T10 and um, using the formula um, that would require um, a dose of 0.5 mils per kilogram um, of local anaesthetic solution. Um, who described the formula originally? Um, that is Armitage. Good. Okay, are there any other adjuncts or things that people will add to that solution to prolong the block or affect the block? Um, so most commonly in the paediatric centre that I work, um, in clonidine is used at a dose of 0.5 to 1 micrograms per kilogram and that um, prolongs the analgesia. 
and um, also improves the quality of the analgesia. Um, other centres use um, cordal opioids mm -hmm. or um, ketamine. Does co cordal op opioids have any uh, side effects or drawbacks in the um, day surgery setting, for example? Yeah, so um, uh, opiates, opioids can cause respiratory depression um, and itching um, and potentially urinary retention. Good, okay, thank you very much. On this occasion, the candidate approaches her answer with confidence and a good fluent opening. This would suggest a personal experience in performing caudals in children with the correct indication and covering the consent issues. She follows with a knowledgeable answer on the anatomy of the sacral canal. The approach to performing the caudal was safe and sensible and covered all the main issues. There were a couple of minor errors in her answer which shows that you do not have to pass without everything being correct. A pass overall.